Hey everybody, welcome to Home Recording Made Easy and Plugin Review Friday, where every Friday I show you a new plugin, we walk through its feature set, and I show you how to apply it to a mix so you can make professional sounding mixes in your home studio. Okay, before we get started, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing and make sure you hit that notification bell. And also make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I have a few free gifts I want to give you that is absolutely going to help you make better music in your home studio. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Plugin Review Friday at homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and this week we're going to take a look at another Artura plugin. This is the Comp VCA65. Very, very cool plugin, much different sounding than what we took a look at last week, which was the Stay um, Tube Compressor and then the week before that I believe was the Comp 1176. This is the, the, the trifecta, the third plugin, the third compressor in their collection and this thing sounds completely unique and different from the other two. We're going to listen to it on a lead vocal. We're going to listen to it on a set of drums just so you can get a feel for how it works. So let's walk through the plugin. Oh, full disclosure, I just want to say before we get started that Artura did send this to me for free so I can demo this for you guys because some of my students have been asking me to take a look at their plugins. However, my uh, opinion of this uh, plugin or any of their plugins is completely my own. Um, I don't get paid. They're not a sponsored video in that I'm not being paid for this video. And they don't want me to say anything other than my honest opinion. So I want to let you know that up front. And also they've been kind enough to give us a few licenses that we're going to use as part of our monthly mixing contest giveaway um, over at mixingmadeeasy.net. So if you're a member of mixingmadeeasy.net, you can have a chance to win some great Artura plugins. Very, very cool. You should check that out. Links will be in the description box below. So let's take a look at the Comp VA VCA65. Very, very cool. Uh, we start over here on the left-hand side. Like with all of Artura's plugins, we have a bunch of different things that we could do with presets, import and export. We have a tutorial, a manual, and we can resize the window, which is really, really nice. Okay, really nice job. Go back to 120. Um, so that's very, very cool. Very, very good looking uh, user interface. Over here on the left-hand side, we have the threshold. It'll allow us to uh, pull down the threshold to get us the, the amount of compression we want. And we have a big ratio knob here in the center. Um, next to that, we have um, our attack and release and we also have, which I think is very cool and is unique on this particular compressor. And we're gonna listen to this pretty much for the most part, because it is very unique. An auto attack and release, which is dependent on the program material that's being uh, sent into the compressor, and it really works very, very well and has some very unique sounds, but you can bypass that and you can twiddle the knobs if you want on your own. Next to that, we have our output gain here. We have a limiter here as well, which is cool. And we have a mix dry knob, which is great for things like parallel compression. Artur does that on all of their compressors. We can bypass the plug in here as well. Um, and the next that we have our beautiful metering and we can change the way the meter responds, gain reduction input and output. Down below that, we another way we can bypass the plug in here as well, like on all of Artura's plugins. We also have up in the top right hand corner this little light bulb. And when you click on the light bulb here and you scroll over one of the knobs or controls, it tells you in the bottom left-hand corner of the plugin what it really does and kind of helps you out. So if you're new to using this compressor, you can tell. So for example, here is the threshold determined at, at what level the compressor will start to compress, right? Um, if we come over to the peak stop limiter, it's model limiter that will catch and firmly limit peaks of the incoming signal, kind of like a brick wall limiter. Compressor knob, you are mixed dry knob, you get the idea. Next to our little tips or light bulb here, we also have this little double arrow here. If we click on that, we have another pane that flips open, um, which is, um, again, the same as on the last two compressors we looked at. We have a side chain here. We have a um, we have our time warp here, snap or loose. And again, you can read what this does. If you're on snapping, um, this will, um, this will, um, this will look, it looks ahead. It's a look ahead compressor. It's looking ahead at the transients and it's reacting accordingly. We're on loose, um, it delays the detection. So we'll just keep that at zero, but you can play with that. We have a high pass filter here. So if you don't want the very low end of a compressor uh, trigger or very low end of a signal triggering the compressor, we can use that here. We have an equalizer here in the center and we have a 
low pass filter, high pass and a low pass filter. Now what's um, really cool about this uh, compressor, which is also on the 1176, their Comp 76 is this compression range. So no matter how much you drive the compressor on the input side, you can squash this thing, let's say 10 dB. And then you can also say, well, you know what, no matter how hard I hit it, I only wanna, I don't want any more than six dB of compression. This will give you some nice, unique uh, saturation that you can you can uh, you can experiment with. This is a, a unique feature to Arturas plugins, and I think it's really cool. And then you can listen to the side chain here, and that's pretty much it. So let's start with on a lead vocal here. Let's see what a lead vocal uh, sounds like on this, and we'll twiddle around. Though we have a bunch of presets up here that we can start with, and we can tweak from there. So if we want something like a transparent vocal, you know, we'll keep it on the auto uh, attack and release because that's pretty cool. Left me, I'm alright. We can pull back the threshold. Get away from you. And you see the little LEDs above here when it goes when it's below the, the threshold, the signal, or when it goes above and it starts to compress. It gives you a little visual here. And I'll be fine, cleaning out the corner, putting back in order. But no, I will always have this too. A little piece of you. Let's cycle around, we'll bypass it. I'm alright. As I pick up the pieces that are left of me, I'm alright. A bit away from you. And I'll be fine. Cleaning out the corner, putting back in order. But no, I will always have this too. A little piece of you. So we're only compressing like about four or five dB here and it's its at its largest peaks. Um, and it gives a real, you can hear it, it's very subtle, but a nice uh, level of saturation, a little bit of hair on that vocal. It kind of just uh, saturates it a little bit and just makes it sound rich to my ear. We'll let it come around again. I'm all right. As I pick up the pieces that are left of me, I'm alright. A bit away from you, and I'll be fine. Cleaning out the corner, putting back in order. But no, I will always have this too. A little piece of you. Even when you push it a little harder, it sounds very natural. The one thing about the Artura compressors that I've noticed, and I didn't mention this in the other two videos, but it's worth mentioning here because I see a pattern, is that. Um, it's not overdone. Even at its more extreme settings, it doesn't fall apart to where it just becomes something that's completely unusable, that you would only have a very small amount of range of where you can compress where the signal is actually usable in a mix. Um, this stuff is more subtle. You can push this kind of hard and it doesn't fall apart. So I, I think that's really, really good to know. A lot of times with some uh, compressors, third-party compressors, or even stock compressors, if you hit it even mildly, it just completely takes a signal and destroys it, and it's not even usable. Not so much the case here. You can hit this kind of hard, you, get, you just get a little bit more harmonic distortion, a little bit more rich saturation, which sounds really nice. I'm alright. Try this uh, as I pick up the pieces high that pass filter. are left of me. I'm alright. A bit away from you, and I'll be fine. Cleaning out the corner, putting back in order. But no, I will always have this too. A little piece of you. So by using the high pass filter, the lower end of the vocal is not triggering the compressor. Now let's try using this um, this uh, full compression range. Let's see if we can limit it to like 6 dB. You can see we're compressing more to more than 6 dB. But my my uh, my gut tells me that as we kind of set this to 6 dB, it's going to hit that wall, and then we're going to get a little bit more saturation. We'll see. I'm alright. As I pick up the pieces that are left of me, I'm alright. A bit away from you. Yeah, I can hear it. And I'll be fine. Cleaning out the corner, putting back in order. But no, I will always have this too. A little piece of you. So even if I roll it down to like 3 dB, you can see how the meter kind of responds to it and the vocal just sits right up in front of you. Really nice. With a little bit of grit on it, which is nice. I'm alright. As I pick up the pieces that are left of me, I'm alright. A bit away from you. Before? And I'll be fine. Cleaning out the corner, putting back in order. But no, I will always have this too. Turn down the output a, a little. little piece of you. Listen to that again before and after. I'm alright. 
As I pick up the pieces that are left in me, I'm alright. Be away from you, and I'll be fine. Cleaning out the corner, putting back in order. But no, I will always have this too. A little piece of you. So it's subtle in a way where you could feel it squeeze together and just pulls it up front. Really, really nice. Again, not overdone at all. And again, we're we're hitting it kind of hard and we're only limiting it to three dB of compression. But even if I pull that all the way off and let it compress as much as I have the threshold brought down enough to, let's see what that does. I'm all right. As I pick up the pieces that are left in me, I'm all right. A bit away from you. It's before. And I'll be fine. Cleaning out the corner, putting back in order. But no, I will always have this too. A little piece of you. Very, very cool. Very, very nice sounding compressor. Very impressed with this. Let's listen to this on some drums here. I brought in a MIDI drum loop here um, from Superior Drummer. And let's just see how that kind of does in like a drum bus kind of a kind of a deal. You know what I mean? So let's uh, let's set the loop. And we'll play with that. And again, I love the auto attack and release. That's a really cool, unique feature to this. Okay, it's no compression at all. like a three to one ratio. Oh, the other thing worth mentioning here, I didn't mention this about the detection mode here where you, um, and this is on a stereo instance, and, and I think it's only because it's on a stereo, and I don't remember seeing that on the other one. I didn't talk about the mid side thing, right? You won't see it here on, on a mono track, but when you put it on a stereo track, this is worth mentioning. We also now have the ability, ability, ability to the, to have the detection mode just listen to the right now it's linked both left and right mid the side or the mid side or dual mono which is really cool so that's interesting as well so you have an extra control here when you're using a stereo instance of it it's before let me over compress it here Use our 50, 50, completely dry. So you have like a 50, 50 blend. Be a lot, right? A lot of compression there. Let's dial back some of this compression. More drum bus like. Maybe something like that. Maybe we don't want the low end to trigger the compressor. We dial it up to about 80 hertz. Now, if I hit the listen button, this is what the compressor is reacting to. If I don't want the, oh, I'm gonna turn this on here. Right. There we go. So that gives the ability to tweak in that high pass filter. You hear the kick drum? Right. Okay. Before. Now we could check like the mid side. This is the mid only, the sides only. If you just wanted to compress the sides, there it's linked back together. Turn down the output here. Gives it a lot of punch. Just a couple of dB of compression. A 
if I want the kick drum to kind of trigger the compressor more, I can turn down the high pass filter. So when you use a time warp and come down to snap, it's kind of looking ahead. And when you go to loose, it's kind of delaying the compression a little bit. You notice that more in the kick drum. Very, very cool compressor. Really, really nice. Even with a very little amount of compression, you can hear the articulation of the hi-hat. You really hear the crack of the snare come through. This is another very cool one that doesn't sound like a lot of other compressors. This is another a nice little a nice uh, addition to your collection from a tonal point of view. And I said that last week about the Stay compressor as well. It sounds different than everything else, you know? Um, and that's the thing with compressors. They all sound a little bit different from a tonal aspect and some things work better on other sources than, you know, than others. And so, you know, when you're filling out your compressor collection, um, that's something to keep in mind. Like we looked at the 1176, but you may already have three or four other 1176s in your collection, although the Artur one's really cool with some really unique features to it. You may say, well, yeah, but I got the 1176 flavor, you know, maybe with some less features, maybe the stay level, or maybe the comp VCA 65 is a different kind of tonal characteristic that you don't have in your collection. You may want to take a look at this for that alone and really experiment with it. It gives you a, a, a unique sound to your just typical, any old run of the mill compressor. So this is a really cool compressor. I, I urge you to take a look at it. Again, links will be in the description box below. I really like it. I'm going to play with this thing more and more and really dive in and really get under the hood and, you know, where this auto attack and release again is very unique. Um, and it's a really, really cool thing to check out. And I want to thank Arturo for sending it to me. I do really like it. And also thank you for sponsoring the mixing contest at mixingmadeeasy.net. So if you're not a member there, go check it out. Links will be in the description box. So you may have a chance to win this as well as a bunch of other great plugins from different plugin manufacturers. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Plugin Review Friday and taking a look at the comp vca 65 as i said at the beginning of the video i want to give you a couple of free gifts first thing i want you to do if you haven't done so already head on over to homerecordingmadeeasy.com i want to give you my five professional tips to a pro sounding mix things that you can apply to your next mixing project right away very practical tips that you don't see everywhere else these are a little unique Download it right on the home page, click the orange button, get it there today. And while you're at home recording made easy.com, I want to give you a coupon code. The coupon code is YouTube 25. That will take off 25% off of any one of my training courses on my website. So while you're over there getting your free gift, go ahead and do a little bit of shopping. I have all courses I'm recording, mixing and mastering. I think you'll really, really like it. Got a lot of courses dedicated to compression and to EQ. Go check it out at home recording made easy.com. And until next plug and review Friday, I've been Dave with home recording made easy.com and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.